I'm Enya Mystery. I'm a senior at Irvington High School. And some of the programs that I have attended in the past has been Gene Lab for High School, such as that is at NASA Ames Research Center. Um, I'm part of the Blue Marble Space Institute of Science Young Scientist Program, which is also at the NASA Ames Research Center summer internships at Stanford. I actually applied my sophomore year um, around like March and I just, I kind of shotgunned for internships because I knew I wanted to go into biology. And this internship was in space biology, which is basically the study of how space impacts humans and organisms biologically and molecularly and cellularly. So I found it really cool. And I kind of just applied because I thought it would be interesting to do it. I didn't think I would get in. It was a four week program. The first two weeks, you're first learning about space biology and you're talking with um, professors, you're talking with scientists at NASA Ames and, and you talk with astronauts who are in space. So they like call you from space. So the one that we talked to was they were in space studying some plants and biodiversity and microorganisms in space. So we got to talk with one of the astronauts through a Zoom call. And then we meet with a lot of like the undergraduates and postdocs who are working there and they serve as your mentors. And then the second two weeks, you're basically creating a research proposal, which is focused on, um, so you're assigned a certain organism so I was given the mus musculus, which is basically the mouse, the house mice, and um, they were sent to space um, in the Russian Bion M1 space flight um, around like a few years ago. And all the data is in a repository on the gene lab databases. And we conduct research on it. So my research was on um, the prevalence of type two diabetes um, caused by hypergravity in space. And we created a whole research proposal. And in the end, we present it to all the scientists at NASA Ames who are in the space biosciences branch. And um, it's basically a competition of who gets a grant to do their work. Well, we got second place. So instead, what happened was that I, one of my mentors, um, I worked with him during the whole program and he invited me to come through something called the Blue Marble Scientist Program, which is run by Dr. Sanjoy Song. And it's usually for just undergraduates and postdocs, but he brought me in as a high schooler. So now I work in the space biosciences branch, phone and signaling lab, and I do research on newts and regeneration in space. At NASA, the way it works is you kind of stay tied with all the mentors there. So if you ever kind of want a job in the future or you want to stay working with them, it's pretty easy once you get in and start um, networking with people. NASA Ames is the main research center. So Gene Lab for High Schools and um, the other one, which is called uh, YSP program, which is Blue Marble YSP is only here because YSP runs with only NASA Ames. So it's a separate company that works with NASA Ames um, where it brings in young scholars to work there. But I know there's like, um, I think at the Johnson Space Flight Center, there's something called Genes in Space, which is also a space biology program. So there's like different kinds of programs that people run for high schoolers and non-high schoolers, but it depends on the location. And um, it was in a residential program and I got paid for both of them. So the first one is a $600 stipend and the second one is you get paid um, $17 an hour. The first one wasn't flexible. It was like a nine to five program for gene, for a gene lab. But then the YSP program, it was, um, I just gave my schedule to my mentor and he, he like worked around it. And we just set up times where I could come in and work in the lab. I think the best part was the exposure to something that was so different and talking with so many different scientists and researchers, having them flown in to come to speak to you was crazy because it's really rare that you get the opportunity to speak with people who are directly in the field. And this is a niche, space biology. So learning something new was really fun for me. 
Um, and I discovered like it was my passion as well, which was amazing. And the fact that you get paid for it, paid to learn is one of the um, best things that could happen. And the fact that you're doing it at NASA too, um, it's just the networking and the amount of um, help that you get and you realize like, oh, they're not as scary as they were when you like initially talked to them. You realize like how down to earth all these scientists are. I got inspired by them and I'm sure that they want to do that to a lot of future people as well. Um, the worst part, I would say I really enjoyed the program, actually. I didn't really find any bad things about it. Maybe the fact that maybe it was only four weeks, I would have liked it if it was a bit longer because everything was like, we, would, we were working nine to five, so I would get like exhausted um, after that. Yeah. So NASA Ames has like four different dining places and they're all really good and they have like good burgers and things like that so no one needs to worry about the food um uh you do have to bring your own money for the food though or you can bring your own lunch in terms of friends like i still talk to the friends that i made uh, we have like a group chat and we facetime like once or twice a week and we're all really really close since you're with them like almost eight hours a day you really make good friends and people who are on the same like intellectual level as you so it lasts for a really, really long time. It really, really helped because it was a niche that I was interested in. I kind of focused my entire application on that. Well, not the entire thing, but a lot of it. Um, and focusing on what I want to do in the future. And I think that really played an important role in my college application process because as an Asian girl applying in biology, that's one of the most common things that you can find. So um, adding that little um, niche in there really helped bring out my application. Obviously it's not just NASA or not just your internships that are gonna get you in anywhere, but um, I have gotten into uh, like some really good colleges one of them, I can't say it, but I've gone into University of Michigan so far. And then one of my top schools I've gotten into. Yeah. When I first applied, I didn't even know what space biology was. It was just like I applied on a whim because it was like, it sounded cool. And then when you're like working with all these scientists, you realize um, the research that they're doing and realizing how many implications it has for the future. And that's kind of how it started. In terms of biology itself, I was interested since like fifth grade, I've been like doing like a bunch of camps, um, like at the local museums, there are like a few camps over there and then just attending like small research camps. And I did some Stanford internships before that. So um, obviously localized internships are a lot easier to get. So that's where I kind of, um, it fueled my passion a little bit more. And then space biology was kind of the niche inside the passion that I found. For anyone who's applying, I would say, um, so basically the questions are like really simple when you're applying to it. It's just, they don't look that you have any experience in space biology necessarily. You just want people who want to learn and the main reason they are creating this program is to inspire the next generation of future scientists. And when you're looking into the future for space travel, um, it's coming quite soon. There's the NASA Artemis program where they're launching the first um, human civilization on the moon, and then they're gonna be doing more deep space exploration. So they wanna prepare younger scientists for um, the future and introducing this to them is what they would look for. So they're just looking for motivated students who are willing to open themselves up to a new topic and really want to learn. Mm -hmm.